So this question is a graph question. Um, generally, I call it a diagram question for any time I see anything visual. But more specifically, this is a graph, right? So whenever I see a graph, I like to pay attention to intercepts. I don't see an x-intercept here, but I do see a y-intercept there. It's 9. Let's continue reading to see what else is important about this question. The question says the graph gives the estimated number of catalogs, Y, in thousands, a company sent to its customers at the end of each year. So then this is a number of catalogs is the Y axis. And we're told that that is in thousands. So that's important to know. All of those numbers along the Y axis are actually thousands. Uh, what else do we know? Where X represents... Okay, so where X represents the number of years since the end of 1992, where X is between 0 and 10. So the X axis is years after 1992, which means, for instance, year 1 would be 93 and 94 and so on and so forth. So which statement is the best interpretation of the Y-intercept in this context? Okay, so the Y-intercept represents what's happening at the end of 1992, first of all. And it tells us that we're at 9, which is really 1,000. So this is really 9,000. I'll just write it that way. 9,000 catalogs were sent to customers in 1992. That's how I would read that. So let's look at the answer choices. Choice A, the estimated total number of catalogs the company sent to its customers during the first 10 years. No, not during the first 10 years just in 1992. Choice B, the estimated total number of catalogs the company sent to its customers from the end of 92 to the end. No, that's not true. Choice C, the estimated number of catalogs the company sent to its customers at the end of 92, that's good, was nine. No, these are in thousands, so that's not the answer either. Choice D, the estimated number of catalogs the company sent to its customers at the end of 1992 was 9,000. Absolutely yes. So choice D is the best answer here.